Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how I made this DIY table setting frame for your wedding or party. This is a really elegant way to display your seating plan and show your guests to their tables. And I basically just used some old frames and some spray paint. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I started by collecting a bunch of old frames. I knew I needed 12 and I had a few laying around. So then I just checked out some thrift stores and some 99 cent stores and got the rest. I laid them all out on the table and moved them around until I found the best placement. I also knew that I was gonna alternate between portrait and landscape. Once I was happy with the overall shape, I labeled all of them so I could keep track of the arrangement. And also later on when I print everything to know which one goes into which frame. Next, I measured the overall height and width and I even drew a little diagram to help keep track of everything. Okay, so I had to make the backing that all the frames are gonna to attach to. So I went to a nearby lumber store and they sell these in sheets of four by eight feet and you can get particle board or masonite or even a thin plywood. I wanted it to be sturdy, but not too heavy. They'll usually do several cuts for you for free. So I had my height and my width ready to go. So now all the frames will attach to this backing without being seen from the front. I traced all the frames exactly in place so I'd know how they would all fit together later like a puzzle. I wanted these frames to lay perfectly flat so I just tore off any additional stuff that these frames had like the little hooks or any stands or anything. All right, so there are four little gaps in between some of the frames and I wanted to make sure that you could still see through those. Since I knew from the outlines exactly where those gaps were gonna be, I used a step drill bit to make the initial holes and then I used a jigsaw to cut the sections out. So moving on to painting, I removed all of the glass and the backs of these frames. Then I just laid them all out and used this really nice metallic gold spray paint. Some of these frames were gold to begin with, but I wanted everything to have like a perfect, even, similar color. And I just made sure to spray them from all different angles to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And then I was getting inside all the little cracks and details. Next, I used Google Docs just to type up each name that went with each table uh, because each frame is gonna equal one table. So I typed all 12 and then printed them on cardstock. Some of my frames were eight and a half by 11, but some were eight by 10. So you just have to plan accordingly. And then I used an X-Acto knife to trim off any of the extra edges. So then everything fit in the frames just right. And I put the backs on and closed everything up. And I decided not to put the glass back in the frames. I thought it just looked better without it. So I knew this would all be a little bit fragile once the frames went on. So before attaching them, I decided to make some updates to the backing to make sure it was ready for transport and sitting on the easel. So the part that will rest on the easel was just a scrap piece of two by two wood that I already had. So I just drilled some pilot holes in it and then screwed it into place towards the bottom. Once this sits on the easel, I didn't want it to fall off easily. So I used some pieces of Velcro so I just used some small screws to attach those. Now when it's sitting on the easel, you can just wrap these around and it won't be in danger of falling forward, even if it gets bumped into. I also decided to add a handle at the top so this would be easier to carry. So I just used some rope that I had, drilled a few holes and then tied the rope in for handles. All right, it's time to attach all of the frames using hot glue. At first I had this clever idea to use Velcro so that these could all be removable, but the Velcro strips just ripped right off. So I scrapped that idea and I'm sticking with hot glue. So one frame at a time, I just glued around all the edges and put them into place. As I was working my way down to the bottom row, I realized that the weight of this entire thing would probably break these flimsy frames at the bottom. So I decided to add two legs to support the weight when it's sitting on the ground. I just used another scrap piece of wood and cut the two legs with the saw to the right length. I made them long enough to extend down just past the bottom of the frames. I attached them with some screws and then finished attaching the bottom row of frames. And there you have it, the finished product. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. It looks great. It was easy to transport and it looked beautiful in our reception hall. The guests were able to just come right in and see exactly which table they were assigned to. Each one of these frames, of course, corresponds with the table number. So we had little table number signs on the tables along with people's names. So everything tied together really well. All right, well, thanks so much for watching and I hope you make your own and have a great party. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I'll help out if I can. And you can be sure and check out the other DIY content I have here on the channel and I'll see you next time.